Welcome back, it's Dr. Denton with Salisbury Eye Care and Eyewear. Today we are continuing the discussion about what to expect when you're expecting. So if you're pregnant and following along, I think you'll enjoy this video a lot. I'm gonna talk a little bit about what you can do to enhance fetal eye development. So there are some things you can do as your baby's developing to make sure that they develop great eyesight and great ocular structures, healthy little eyes. So that's what we'll be covering today. Once your little one is born, I'm sure you can envision yourself playing with them, showing them high contrast targets, dangling little colorful toys in front of their face, maybe playing hide and go seek and sort of, you know, from the other room, seeing if they follow you around. But there's more than that you can do earlier on. You can actually influence their fetal development of their eyes from a very, very early age. It goes without saying that proper nutrition in pregnancy is critically important as well as nutritional supplementation. I think any, um, whoever you see, a midwife, a um, OBGYN, whoever you choose to see as your care provider is going to tell you to be on a great prenatal vitamin. And I think that's absolutely true. That's going to enhance fetal development to begin with. Um, when we talk about the eyes in particular, there are a couple vitamins I wanted to touch on that are extra, extra important. So you all heard that you should eat a lot of carrots. Those are great for your eyes. And in this case, that's absolutely true. Um, vitamin A is one of those vitamins that is critical for retinal development. So vitamin A is gonna contain retinol, retinal, and retinoic acid. And those things are all very, very important for retina development in your baby. Now what's the retina? The retina is the structure at the back of the eye that is collecting all of the light and sending it off to the brain so that the brain can interpret. The retina is critical for sight. It's absolutely, um, you know, absolutely critical. So you want to develop that the very best you can. The way you can get vitamin A in your diet, other than your prenatal or other supplementation, is green leafy vegetables. That's one of the best sources. So you want to get a lot of green leafy vegetables. Consider doing a salad for lunch with just, you know, kale, spinach, collard greens, um, potentially topped with some carrots. That's really going to give you a lot of the great vitamin A that you need. Another thing you might not expect is that vitamin A is present in a lot of breakfast foods. So you can get it from eggs. Eggs are wonderful. Um, as well as fortified skim milk and a lot of fortified cereals are going to have great amounts of vitamin A as well. The next nutrient that is really, really important for fetal development is omega-3 fatty acids, so specifically DHA. This is another vitamin that you are likely on if you're pregnant because uh, most care providers, are, again, are going to encourage you to be on it. So I personally recommend only high pharmaceutical grade omega-3s. If you're gonna be on an omega-3, one of my favorite companies is called Nordic Naturals. They have high pharmaceutical grade omega-3s that are purified. The type of omega-3 that it is is called a triglyceride form. Um, many of the omega-3s that you can get over the counter are what is called the ethyl ester form. And your body is just not able to use the ethyl ester form quite as well. So I'm a big, big fan of omega-3 um, by Nordic Naturals. And I use that product a lot for my dry eye patients but it also is really, really great. They have a prenatal vitamin um, formulated for expectant mothers, and I think it's a great one to try. Now you can also get omega-3 in your diet, but when you are pregnant, they recommend that you watch those sources very carefully. The biggest concern is getting too much mercury in the fish that you consume. So here is, again, this is just kind of the regular version of a Nordic Naturals omega-3 but they also make a prenatal version that I think is worth trying out. They're not sponsoring this video, but that's just what I tell my patients every day. And then finally, I have a sort of nutrient that is a little bit different and unexpected, and that is just good old sunlight. So it 
absolutely is a good idea to get outside and enjoy a little bit of sunlight when you're pregnant. Obviously you wanna protect your skin and protect yourself from other problems that sunlight brings with it. Um, but sunlight is critical for retinal development as well. I was telling my husband about this and he was like, there's no light in there. How in the world would a baby see any light? But there are actually some photons that can make it through and um, there's actually the ability to detect light even within your womb. So you do want to get sun exposure when you're pregnant for that reason, uh, again, safely. And it's really interesting actually, it's been shown that uh, mice who are like mother mice who are put in a dark room and don't have any sunlight exposure throughout their pregnancy, their little mice children are born with more eye problems than if they had been exposed to light. I think the same has been found in northern latitudes where you get pregnant in the winter, have like no light exposure, there are certain um, eye conditions that are more common and prevalent in those populations. So sunlight's really important, aim for you know 10 to 15 minutes a day if you can. If you're in a northern latitude, you could try a sun lamp, but again, protecting your skin is really, really critical. I don't want to encourage you to do anything unsafe for your skin. I hope you enjoyed the information about those three specific nutrients. Remember, green leafy salads, fortified breakfast foods for your vitamin A, um, lots of quality fish sources and supplementing with a prenatal DHA supplement, and then finally getting outside and getting some sunlight will help develop those baby's eyes. In the future, we're gonna cover what to do once the baby's out and how to develop eyes then and kind of what you can expect. I hope you enjoyed this video. We are back every single Wednesday with more eye health tips and tricks. And if you liked this video and wanna see more, comment below, give us a like, and make sure to subscribe. We'll see you next time.